హలో హలో వెల్కమ్ టు బ్రౌనీ టైమ్ వెల్కమ్ టు బ్రౌనీ టైమ్ హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ హ్యాపీ ఫ్రైడే వెల్కమ్ టు అనదర్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ బ్రౌనీ టైమ్ హ్యాపీ ఫ్రైడే బట్ పాల్ డు యు రిమెంబర్ వెన్ వి డిడ్ आवर लास्ट एपिसोड वी हैड अ ह्यूज अनबॉक्सिंग यस आई ओपन ट्वाइस Well, today, Brother Paul will open a third gift. Again? Yes! Oh, my privilege. Thank you, Brother Reggie. Okay, so we have a very special uh, souvenir again. So, let's get cracking. Okay. From Kelly Hammonds from USA. We we'll hope so. you pronounce your name correctly. <laughs> if, if not, please. Uh, we're, we're very apologetic. If, if, if I pronounce wrong, so sorry for that. Wow, great thing, Carl. This one, I think, let you read it, Brother Reggie. So, Kelly Hammonds, thank you for sending us a wonderful souvenir. Uh, while he's unboxing, I will read also the card that has come. Brownie time, hello. I come from a small town in Indiana. Hello, Indiana. And we are famous for the University of Notre Dame. While doing the editing, I sort of remembered that the University of Notre Dame is pronounced the University of Notre Dame. in the United States. So there you go. Fighting Irish. So I'm sending an angel from the university for your viewer shelf. I love your show and your worship brings great joy to my heart. Many blessings to you from the Midwestern USA. Signed Kelly Hammonds. So thank you very much Kelly uh or Kelly or I'll, I'll just call you Miss Hammonds. We don't want to mangle someone's name, but uh, thank you very much for this. I spent some time also in the Midwest of USA and I enjoyed myself thoroughly there. I was in uh, Denton, Nebraska for almost a year. So thank you. It will thank join you. our viewer shelf. Uh, as you can see, our viewer shelf, we have the dish of nasi lemak from Singapore. And up here, we have our tuk-tuk from Thailand, the tuk-tuk. In case you missed uh, last, the last episode last, of Brownie Time. Last Thai. episode. And before we move on, I'll also be reminded that the first Friday we upload our podcast on Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast and also on Anchor. So the links are below so do check us out every first Friday. It's like a new kind of devotion. So if not, you can just Google it. Yeah. Brownie Tom Podcast. Mm, in our last episode, we were talking about yes. penance. So if you're interested, do click and yes. uh, have a listen. To begin today's episode of brownie time uh, remember last season we were talking about our love life or like thereof many love life stories and it doesn't mean that when you enter into kamal you leave females behind there there's a very strong really? female element here in kamal actually i bring a lot of women's heart inside my heart you know man cannot Le- live alone <laughs> yeah it's not good for men to be alone Here in Kamal we also have our brothers so we're not really alone but you know it's always good to have uh some female company some female influence and of course it goes without saying our holy mother la madre santa teresa the foundress of our order she's a very strong womanly influence that we have in our life but of course what is the the, the prime female influence yes. by the pope no doubt blessed virgin mary our lady of mount carmel our Or the group bear her name. Mm-hmm. What is that, Brother Reggie? We are the Discalced Brothers of the Blessed Virgin Mary on Mount Carmel. Oh, that is the original on Mount Carmel. And then, of course, in history, it became the Discalced Brothers of the Blessed Virgin Mary of oh, Mount Carmel. Carmel. See? There are many orders out there who will say, ah, but we also have a devotion to Our Lady. Of course, we have the Servites, the Servants of the servants of Mary. And you uh, can see that the Redemptorists, they have their own devotion about uh, yeah, Mary. Yeah. Also, Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Perpetual Help. So, what distinguishes the Carmelite order physically also is that we have a very special form of devotion to Our Lady. Behold. See. But not just any rosary, a very special yes. rosary. So, there's something unique about this rosary, if you can count. There are one, two, three, four, five, six decades. Six decades, no crucifix. Yeah, we have a medal. We, we are Catholics. But why no no crucifix? We don't have because we have a profession crucifix. Yes, here. Mm. Actually, two medals. We have one medal is Immaculate Conception, right? So I actually I I cheat a little bit. I have two uh, scapular medals on both sides of the rosary because I could not find. Yes, of course. If you know where to find one in a giant size, do let me know and I will go and I will go and get <laughs> it. Okay, so let's come back to the six decades. Back of course, you know there are three mysteries, not counting the luminous mystery. We'll leave that aside yes. for today. But we have the joyful mystery, sorrowful mystery, and the glorious mysteries. Now for each of Of these mysteries there's an additional one for the Carmelites so for the joyful mystery our first mystery is 
Immaculate Conception. That's right, Immaculate Conception. And then we go on to the Annunciation. Yes. Mm-hmm. So and the first mystery in the joyful mystery is not Annunciation, according to the tradition of Carmelites. Start with the Immaculate Conception. So as a way of we protect this dogma, at that time, because of there is a big debate among the uh, other congregations and Carmelites stood up as a protector of this dogma. So that's why this is for the first mystery in the joyful mystery. And for the sorrowful mystery, uh, the last, traditionally, the last mystery of the sorrowful mysteries is the crucifixion. Yes. But for us Carmelites, our, we have an additional sixth. It is the placing of the Christ, of the dead Christ in the arms of his blessed mother. And the last one, glorious mystery. You know, well, the, traditionally, the last mystery of the glorious mystery is the coronation coronation of the blessed virgin mary as queen of heaven and earth Earth. but for us carmelites we have another mystery the sixth mystery what is that it is the patronage of our lady queen and beauty of carmel that is our devotion to blessed virgin mary and by the way when people uh, talk about the carmelites unconsciously or consciously they will bear in mind that it is the marian congregation because i i experienced that if we are not half strong devotion with blessed virgin mary i am not living faithful with charism of the order and actually i did not uh, tell it by myself i experienced it and now i show it to you from this book time for book review <laughs> mary mother of carmel our Lady and the Saints of Carmel. So if you would like to get this book, you can locate it in Carmel in the World Paperbacks from the Carmelite Institute. But it's not just Our Lady of Mount Carmel who is the only, and of course La Madre, who are the only female influence in our life as Carmelite friars. Yes. We have also very special women in our lives. Let us talk about the other women in Carmel. Aside with the Blessed Virgin Mary, what is the most favorite you embrace her teaching you want to be like her in some way in Carmel so who is that brother Reggie so for me it is Saint Elizabeth of the Trinity that is also why I call myself uh, well, why I chose Reginald Marie of the Blessed Trinity wow now I know yes <laughs> why why when did you like her uh, it, it's very unusual um, my batchmate uh, let's so shout out to brother Bartolo who is now in the Theresianum in Rome the, but we were chatting once we were talking about all these saints that we feel particularly drawn to and we developed this theory that actually it is not so much us who choose the saints yeah. but somehow the saints choose us because for most people Saint Therese of the Child Jesus is the big Carmelite uh, saint for a lot of them yes and sometimes uh, people are scandalized, you know, a little bit scandalized. So I, I hope you're not when I say that. Actually, for me, I'm drawn to St. Elizabeth of the Trinity. Something about her personality, her, her way of life, and of course her, her love and appreciation for the indwelling of the Blessed Trinity in the soul. That really uh, caught my attention. Of course, there are little things about her life that also really draw me to her. Uh, she, she was a very hot-tempered child. And, you know, of course, St. Therese is the sensitive one, but Elizabeth is the one with the, the fire temper and I I had a very hot temper you, you, if my brother is watching this he can attest to this if my parents are watching this they can attest to this but I had a very hot temper as a child I did not experience this maybe maybe I've mellowed since then you know once you turn above a certain age you mellow a little bit but I, I really could see that yeah, in myself yeah. and so of course I, I I really was drawn to this aspect of her Saint Elizabeth chose you I, I like to uh, think chose that, you. I, I like yeah, to think that she chose me actually it's the same experience brother when I when I was in novitiate mm. who chose you up to now I sometimes I cannot uh, you know pronounce correctly her name it is Stan <laughs> Stein Stan yes. Brother Paul is doing German by the way Stan 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 Maybe her religious name is easier to pronounce uh, Yes uh, I took the You know Hermitage During the Hermitage experience There's an experience in Novitiate My Hermitage name It is Stan <laughs> She chose me because of my ignorance about her About uh, pronouncing her name And after that I, I was curious about You know Her intellectual People uh, I think people are afraid of her Because the, no, very deep, very profound. Her philosophy, uh, her study. But I don't look at that way. I look because 
I love philosophy. Yes, I love philosophy. But I'm not good in studying philosophy. And I love her because of that. And because of her, the, the desire to, to find the truth. When she asked to join Carmel from a priest, the priest said that you could kill your, your mother. Yeah, because her mother was Jewish. Yes. Yeah. She answered that instead of killing my mother, I may harden her heart. That is very beautiful for me. And the last thing is she chose the cross as her mystery. That's why my mystery is brother Paul uh, Jesus crucified. Some way we identify find ourselves with the cross. One thing that sort of, how should I put it, uh, piqued my interest about St. Teresa Benedicta of the cross is that she as she admits this, that she is very bad at Manualia. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm also very bad at manual. She's very candid about her admission. She's like, I can read all these books, you know, when it comes to mopping the floor, doing the housework. She admits that she is not very good at... That's her. That's her. Ha- have you watched her, the, the movie about her, The Seventh Chamber? Ah, okay. what, what is that? There is uh, a good movie about Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. It's, I believe, in German. Ah. I, I don't remember. I, I, I watched it in a novitiate. Mm, a very good chambers. movie. How can I miss this? Do they have the English subtitle? No. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, of course. Okay. Otherwise, I would say for that. For our viewers out there, who is the... Or maybe because we have both viewers who are male and female. Let's do it this way. For our female viewers out there, who is the strong male Carmelite influence in your life? And for our male viewers, who is the strong female <laughs> Carmelite influence in your life? So share with us. I'm sure Father Richard out there will be commenting. He, he watches our videos. So he will comment down below, I'm sure. Just pay attention and you will see Father Richard. This, this is few figures that we just pointed out to all of you that but in Carmel we have a lot a lot of big influence Mm -hmm. on our life and we look at them we follow them and we try to practice the virtue according to their teachings so if you have some questions just you know what to do <laughs> leave the question and if we see we can answer if we, if we don't know we can you know research for that and we will answer in the next episode so that's all the time we have for this evening this that's all, that's all. <laughs> we have got to get back to our studies yes so until next month we look forward to seeing you again uh, so stay safe yes stay good in the good graces of God and God bless you bye bye bye